What a quick question. Holy moly. Bumby ride, bumby ride. Anybody ever seen that video? Anybody ever seen them videos of like them faking um that picture of Earth in like the 60s? You know what I'm talking about? They're uh it's like video of them like trying to manipulate the window to make it look like the earth is way the fuck out there. Sorry, it's so shaky. Um, and also, the interviews in which Lance Armstrong, I'm sorry, Neil Armstrong, uh, had been confronted with these, with this video, and he, like, lost his shit and got super upset. And, like, demanded to, like, have the videos and, like, ask, like demand where they, to know where they came from and such. So, like, do you know, first of all, if you know what I'm talking about, do you know where those videos might be? You know what? I didn't check on Odyssey. I can't seem to find them. And those, those are some incredibly informational videos. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, then you need to look this shit up. Also, I just heard a new commercial about, it was an abortion commercial. Holy fuck, this road is bad. It was an abortion commercial. And it, it said, I was just like, it was just like the radio is going in the background and I hear something about a federal judge just because a federal judge, like, did something over a lame bill or something. And I just kind of tuned in a little bit more. I was like, is this about abortion? And sure as shit, it says, they said, our liberties and our freedoms are being taken away from us because we no longer have the right to abort our children. Can you imagine? I almost said, can you imagine a world? But that is the fucking world. Their freedom is being stripped from their individuality. I, I, I don't even know. From their individual whatever. Man, this new Bronco needs to fucking give it some gas. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, he's, um, he's from Minnesota. Minnesota. But, I mean, I, I can't believe it. It's, it's hard to believe that they actually pump this type of propaganda out. You know? But, I mean, Stephen tells you, look at the World Economic Forum page. These motherfuckers put propaganda right in front of your face. They just pump it out. It's not even propaganda. They're just telling you what they're doing. Unfucking believable. They said COVID is the most profitable product ever. I was watching one the other day, and it was like it, the title of it was "Managing the Population" or some shit like that. Something about managing the population, managing the economy and the population, or something like that. And I was like, "What the fuck is wrong with these people? They have like a serious, they have like a complex. They have like god complexes, right? Fucking weird, man. We got some guys over at a job right now." All right, and they're in what's called the Huron Mountain Club, okay? This is like an elitist, cultist fucking area in the wilderness up here. If you guys want to look into it, I'm not going to repeat it. I already said it once, what it was. Like, this place is so gangster. Like, when when Henry Ford made all his money, he wanted in. He wanted into the club, and these motherfuckers wouldn't let him. They denied him access into the club. So Henry kind of pulled an okie doke on him. And this motherfucker bought all the land because he's Henry Ford. He's one of the richest people in the in America at that time, right? He bought all of the property surrounding the club, and um, and kind of forced their hand, right? 
take them to long fucking uh, <laughs> uh, in court battles over easements, you know, over easement fucking roads and all this crazy shit. So he kind of forced their hand and they let him in the club. And all his property became part of the club's property. But anyway, we got a couple of guys out there right now. I've never been out to that property. I would love to go out to that property. You have to, excuse me, you have to cross two rivers and two guard shacks to get to it. Like there's a guard shack and then a bridge after the guard shack, like a gate and a bridge. I've been to the first one. I pulled up and immediately saw a guard stand up in the shack. And I was like, oh shit, there's somebody in there. Like even now, not even the Henry Ford days. And uh, I just pulled a Yui, fucking drove out. Middle of nowhere though. Fucking douchebag. Anyway, there's that guy, and then there's one beyond him. So it's like, it's still a thing not that people don't talk about. They got like seven or eight private lakes out there that are just stocked like you wouldn't fucking believe. There's some crazy things going on up here in the woods, guys. Granite Loma. Look at that shit up. Granite Loma. Granite. G R A N O T. Space L O M A. It's actually for sale if you got like forty million dollars. Anyway, they're in the club right now, and I've never been out to the club. I would love to go out to the club. I would absolutely love it. We go out there a couple times a year for various things, and I unfortunately always been too fucking busy to get out there. And again, this morning, I'm literally on my way across the entire UP to Hogan to work all damn night and uh, I couldn't get out there with some guys today so the dude sends me some pictures you know like huge like miles and miles of private beach and I'm like that's cool I was like nice I was like that's a nice view on a lunch break dude and I was like by the way fuck off I'm super jealous that I'm not out there and uh, he says dude it's fucking weird in here and he was in one building. There's like several buildings and stuff, several properties spread throughout the club. And uh, he says, it's fucking weird in here, dude. But he spelled it wired. So I was like, wired or weird? And how so? And he sent me these photos. He sent me five more pictures of the inside of the building they were in. And it was just creepy shit, dude. I felt the weird vibe through the pictures. It was just like, I don't know, it was just dark. And it's like a full sun today. Blue skies. It was just dark in there. It was like blue skies today. Like not that hazy bullshit. Love it. Anyway. I don't know, it was just dark, and the vibe, even through the photos, was fucking weird, man. There's, like, this huge, weird eagle, like, hanging from the ceiling. What looked like it was hanging from the ceiling. I I just kind of glanced at the small pictures. I didn't blow any of them up. And just looking at those, even, I was like, what in the world, man? And all, he sent me, like, five pictures, and I was just looking through them, and I'm like, weird. And I said, dude, I can... I can almost feel that weird vibe through the photos. And he said, it feels strange in here. I said, yeah, because you're in a fucking elite cultist fucking built property, dude, building, bro. I said, because you're, I said, because you're in the, within the realm of the elite cultists, nigga. That's what I told him. I don't know how people feel about that N word. Oh my goodness. Anyway, um, so just it's crazy things, man. Interesting things. Remember the books I told you about that I bought? Well, I didn't want to like give away too much, but like that property and a lot of history about that property is in them books. And that's just one small aspect of them books. 
So, just some shit I wanted to leave you with, I guess. Crazy shit, I'm just sitting here talking about, I'm sitting here talking to myself about the fucking moon landing for probably 10 minutes. And I'm like, why am I just talking to myself? You know what, if I'm going to talk to myself about this shit, might as well. I'm talking to myself about, you know, how like, Earth, you know it's like so contradictive that nobody even ever thinks about? In school, they tell you that the Earth is not actually a perfect sphere. They tell you it's actually like, I forget what the term is, but it's it's more pear-shaped, right? Even that one douchebag, Neil deGrasse Tyson or something, says it's fucking pear-shaped. It's not spherical. Because of the rotation and the gravitational pulls and this and that and all the bullshit they want to come up with, right? They fucking tell you. They give you a science book, okay? You're looking at the fucking science book. In school, think about this. You're looking at a picture of the fucking earth. And it's perfectly round. It's like it couldn't be more perfectly spherical. And at the same exact time, while you're looking at the picture, they're telling you it's not actually spherical. It's kind of oblong shape. And we don't even question it. We're like, oh, weird. Those pictures are real, though. I don't know. It fucking blows my mind, guys. My mind is blown. Man. They will have eyes. But they will not see. And they will hear, but they will not understand. I feel so blessed and thankful that I have eyes that can see and ears that I can hear and understand with. This is some evil shit that's been going on for hundreds, for millennia, for millennia since the creation, the destruction has been ongoing. It's been a constant effort to destroy since, since the creation. Well, thanks for sticking in with me for like 13 minutes. It's kind of cool I get to record these longer ones. I record stuff all the time. Don't necessarily post it. But I'm posting this one. Crazy shit, guys. Crazy shit. I'm on my way to Houghton. There's a place in Houghton called... Um, shit, what's it called? Oh, no. I forget what it's called. I don't need to know what it's called because I know where it's at. And it's this little hole in the wall uh, Mexican joint. And they got these uh, burritos there that are like three pounds. Oh, I love these things. Or, I, or I'm going to go to Joey's uh, Seafood where they got the fish taco. Joey's. It's the only good thing about coming to this side of the UP. Plus, the Keweenaw Peninsula is super beautiful. So that's always a good plus, too. But, be working, not playing. So, uh, we are going to be honeymooning in some super cool places. I'll tell you about it later. I don't want to give it all away at the end. <laughs> or way, I don't want you guys to show up and spoil my honeymoon. I know how y'all are. Losers. Just kidding. I'm the loser. <sighs> you know, I got a fountain pop yesterday too. A fountain pop. <clears throat> I got a I got a fountain coke. I read pop on the thing, and that's why I said it. I hate that word. Some of you might some of you guys say that shit. I'm from Texas. I'm from the South. I grew up hearing my grandma call that shit soda water. 
not even soda water, so D water, so D water. <laughs> Go get yourself ice cold soda water out the fridge, out the ice box. Go get yourself some soda water out the ice box. Anyway, and then throw them dirty clothes in the washer. The washer? Is it a washer or a washer? Anyway, I got one of those yesterday too, which is the first time I've gotten a soda drink, a fountain drink, uh, in like a long time. And I was like, damn, that was so good. They got those chemical they got those chemical makeups. So perfect. Like you just taste it and you're like, damn, that was good. And look, boom, fucking got me again. And I just passed a billboard. Can you see? No, nope, you can't see it. I got a big I got a big box behind me. For another one. Don't worry, I'm not gonna stop and do it. I can only can only give in so much. I can only bend a little. I can't break. All right, guys, I don't take up too much more of your time. I'll talk to you later. I gotta put some sunglasses on my face. It's bright out here. Ow, damn it. Maybe that's a sign. Another thing is weird is, real quick, speaking of signs, whoa, a North Iron Church. Look, guys, they built another one, a North Iron Church. So I heard, speaking of cultists, I heard those motherfuckers are cultists. And, other, and speaking of signs, man, I've been seeing 666 in like everything in my life lately. But I feel like it's one of those things when you're looking for it, it's there, you know? Remember that movie 23 with uh, Jim Carrey? Man, even after that movie, I was like seeing 23 everywhere. Everything was added to 23 years, subtracted to 23 years, something. But, uh, yeah, man, like on everything, man. I had to buy a new washer the other day. It came up at 666 in some change. So we got a, we got a quick four pack of some maple root beer that was right there real quick. So I didn't read that anymore. And then I got my 11% rebate and the motherfucker said 6966. I was like, fuck, I can't get away from it. I had to, man, my, my truck right now. Says sixty six thousand or no um the uh the little white trans I, I was in another van earlier this morning a work van and its mileage said sixty six thousand six hundred forty seven the oh, fuck man I'm seeing this everywhere for like a week I'm trying not to but it's there it fucking hit me in the face I feel like it evil's letting me know it's around. Man, crazy shit, dude. Evil let me know it's around. Fuck you, evil. All right, I'm gonna go. God, my fucking ears keep making this cracking sound ever since I started talking about that. What the fuck is going on, guys? I don't know, I'm gonna roll the window down. It's hot as shit. I guess I have AC. This is a brand new truck. But I like the window down. And my ears don't stop fucking making this crackling sound. I don't know what the hell's going on here. It's the devil, man. It's trying to get in. That's crackling is like all my good vibes. Whooping that ass! Uh, you want to see what I see? Do you see what I see? Look, Stephen LaFleur probably recognizes a little bit of that. That's Baraka right over there, homie. That's Baraka. There's usually a little waterfall shooting out right there. Pretty dope. I don't know if you guys even seen any of that. Anyway, um, talk to y'all later. Love you. Peace. Spread that big P. Positivity. And don't let the devil in when he's knocking. Say, be gone with you. Peace.